What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're gonna go over a couple plugins I think are essential for your WooCommerce subscription store and with that I'm gonna go over the first plugin. So the first plugin I want to go over is the user switching plugin. So you may have heard of this plugin, you may have not, but the user switching plugin is very helpful in case you get a customer support request or a customer says emails you or calls you and says hey something on my subscription you know doesn't look right or it's on my account page I can't find how to change this or that or update my payment method or change my address or add a product to an existing subscription or skip a payment etc so I could come here so let's say Randy Moss called me and I was and he was having trouble with his order on his my account page or subscription I could click into his profile and do switch to and I would be able to see exactly what he's seeing on his my account page and sometimes it can get frustrating if he's seeing something and I can't see what his account page looks like so this is just a good example of how you know you can see how Randy's you know subscription looks like and seeing the same screen and I think this is one of the best plugins and a must-have plugin to use WooCommerce subscriptions. And make sure when you come down here, you can just click this switch back and boom, you're good. Switching back, it's an invalid, but so now I'm, I'm, I'm logged in back to myself. So let's say I go back to this dashboard, you know, go back to the subscription. And you know, I can do this with each, you know, person I have on subscription, look at the description, click into their profile and switch to their profile. So that is the user switching plugin. Another plugin I wanna go over is the Automate Woo plugin. So you may have been seeing my WooCommerce follow-ups plugin tutorial video, and I also have one in Automate Woo, but um, they're essentially the same plugin, and I think Automatic, the company behind WooCommerce, bought Automate Woo from the plugin, and follow-ups was still um, in their thing, so they just haven't merged the two yet. But Automate Woo does basically everything that follow-ups does, and a good example would be, you can use this for so many use cases. So let's say I wanted to, you know, send my subscribers or customers an email that their card's about to expire. So I can send this, you know, 14 days or seven days before their card's about to expire. And then I can make this transactional. And I could also add some rules if it includes, you know, a specific customer right or you know I also could change I could preview how this email looks right if I bring this right here and I can see this button so they can go easily update their account and I also could send this you know without like this WooCommerce template so it looks something like this right and this will be a white background on their email not this uh, gray so this is really nice and you're also going to use automate woo to do you know bulk update subscription prices you can use it to set up prepaid subscriptions you can use it to add you know guests to or subscribers to you know mailchimp the active campaign you know use twilio or bitly etc so this is just a really neat and handy plugin and yeah there's so many things you can do you can cross sell Target repeat, you know, add a tag to a MailChimp list or active campaign, ask someone to do a review. Um, there's just so many things. Like, let's say you want to do like a welcome email for people that subscribe. Maybe you're on a membership site, or maybe you're on just using WooCommerce subscriptions. Want to sell, send them a welcome email if they sign up for a subscription box using WooCommerce subscriptions. And you could do this, and you could, you know, add rules like you know, order items, you know, includes whatever. Let's say the subscription copy box. And I could even change this to like subscription created. I can confirm this and then I can do copy box. And then I could add some rules, right? Like customers first order date or whatever it is, you know, next payment date. So there's just so many like rules and actions I can do, like maybe I want to send them an email, or maybe I want to, you know, add the customer to a list, 
right? So if I had MailChimp um, set up or active campaign, I could add a customer to a specific list. I haven't added my API keys, but that's just a good example. You know, maybe I can want to update a custom field if you know I want to add some ID for our CRM to identify them better. You could re recalculate taxes, update the currency, remove update shipping after their first payment date or second payment date. There's just so many things you can take this. So this is one of my must have plugins on a WooCommerce subscription site. And then third, the third must have plugin, and this is especially true for um, physical products, is the all products WooCommerce subscriptions plugin. So I've gone over this plugin with a couple tutorial videos, but some um, things is like, I wanna offer one-time purchases and um, subscription options on the same product page. And that's a big thing of all products requirement subscriptions. So for example, I could add, you know, this is the one time is $15 and if they subscribe and save, they'll get 20% and I can offer this drop down, right? Or I could also do subscribe, say for 10% or I could just do, if they subscribe, it's still $15, they don't get a discount. And if I wanted to like remove this, you know, snippet, the fourth plugin will be like the code snippets plugin. So this is really beneficial, especially no matter what, if you're comfortable editing code, you know, using SSH or SFTP or a child theme, sometimes it's easier just to use the code snippets plugin. And this is a free plugin. So I could literally go here. And if I come back here, let's say I want to remove this. I can just be like, remove, you know, sub strain or something. And I could just come down here and I could paste, you know, this um, thing. And let's say I, I run this. And now if I come back here, you know, I remove this like substrate. And so now it's just, it just makes things look cleaner. And the code snippets plugin can be just used for so many different things. If you look at a lot of plugin documentation, they may have like filters or, um, actions they remove action or add filter remove filter etc so you can use this code snippet plugin with so many different things so and then the next plugin i want to go over is the disables emails plugin so you may need this plugin um, from time to time and i don't even think i have this activated but this is a free plugin and you may need this just to if you're testing something or if you manually need to update a subscription ever or another order and you want to disable emails for a couple minutes because you want to take an order you know from processing to on hold but you don't want to trigger the customer so let's say I want I needed to add a line item or whatever it was the disabled emails plugin can be really beneficial just to make sure that emails aren't mass going out if you're bulk updating things or updating one um, order so disables email and then the other plugin I want to go over is the toolbox through WooCommerce subscriptions plugin so the toolbox through WooCommerce subscriptions plugin just makes it really easy for your customers to manage their subscription so whether you're use, using a membership site or uh, selling physical products this could be beneficial to maybe skip a payment so let's say you have a membership site that is, um, you have a paywall on some of your articles. You could use um, this plugin to skip a payment and then for that next month or whatever it is, that period, the customer would not have access to the paywall content or whatever situation you are. Maybe they wanna skip a payment because they already have too much coffee. Like in this case, they may have too much coffee already or they're gonna be on vacation and they wanna skip a payment so they can you know get coffee a month from now because they already have too much you know they also can do a, a bunch of other things they can you know choose to ship their subscription right now they could update the frequency i have another toolbox for subscriptions video but you guys get the point they can do like change the frequency um, and i'll go back and show you guys a quick thing let's go back to let's go back to tori or randy so let's go back to him I'll just see this and 
you know, let's say Randy wants to, maybe I took off remove frequency. Anyways, there's just so many things like they can increase quantities of their subscription. You know, they can save it. Ship now reschedule, do manual renewal. Now they're doing auto renew, etc. So there's so many things they can take it and really probably just see my video that I'll link in the cards. That's gonna give a more um, in-depth video about Toolbox. And then another plugin I wanna go over is the conditional shipping and payments plugin. So let's say you want to offer shipping, um, free shipping on only the first order or on all renewal orders or for all subscription orders. And you, you usually offer like flat rate but you're using the all products from commerce subscriptions plugin. So this will just make it so you can conditionally offer subscription products can, or shipping um, conditionally or offer payment methods conditionally based on what's in the customer's cart. And I will also link that in the description box below. Now we're gonna go to two more bonus plugins that I just wanted to highlight real quick. And this these may not be beneficial to just WooCommerce subscriptions, but we're gonna go over them nonetheless. And it's the two-factor plugin. So if you haven't heard of the two-factor plugin, it's basically just created by the WordPress or automatic team. Um, the company behind WordPress, WooCommerce, and that so this two-factor plugin just makes it easy to get a two-factor authentication code emailed to you or using a code like Authy. And I wasn't prepared to set up this plugin, so that's why my site broke. But um, just using it on different sites, it just makes it feel more secure. And because it's built by, you know, like the team behind Automatic or the people that work on the WordPress core, um, it's been a very solid plugin. So the two-factor plugin, and then also the Safe SVG plugin. That's a plugin that I think I already have installed on my store. But if I just um, search this real quick, this just allows SVG files to be uploaded on your WooCommerce site and can make things look more sniffy. So let's say I go to the site and I have this logo right here and you guys might be like, what's wrong with that logo? And I crop the logo pretty well and it's a PNG file, but if you have like a blurry logo, especially maybe if you're looking at it on a retina device or something better and you want an SVG, you can use the safe SVG plugin so you can up, upload an SVG icon. So you see this kind of looks pixelated. So let's say I remove this logo and let's say I want to upload my SVG logo and I upload it. And the SVGs are smaller file sizes. But anyways, let's say I publish this. So you probably won't be able to see a difference right now, um, but this logo just looks a lot cleaner and um, less pixelated in a smaller file size, especially because some people have like, they upload a logo that's 2000 pixels wide or whatever it is. SVG is a way smaller file size and always looks crisp and clear. So that's basically it. Feedback or comments, let me know in the description box below or in the comments and see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace. Peace.